Hello, Jordy. Maybe stop calling us crazy now. What is going on around here? The actors have gone homicidal. Chauncey believes me. Something sinister has come to town. We're not crazy. Then why are you still here, hanging out with homicidal thespians? Playwright Parissa has my script in her desk and refuses to give it back. That no good plagiarist. I refuse to be a stagehand forever. New quest, aspiring playwright. Head up the stairs and work your way through the dressing rooms to find playwright Parissa. Oh, I get a bow for that. Nice. Let's do this quest. I assume I'll run into more crazed actors, but they're not hard to fight at all. Oh, there's two of them though. Hey! Maybe this guy hey! can help me. Uh, uh. Oh, I thought that guy just died. Like the person. Uh. Volton's Bastion. A blessing of Volton, the Elder of Priests. Temporarily grants an absorp absorption shield that will absorb a total of 37 damage. Nice. I like these spirit essences. Oh. Um. That's playwright Parissa. Okay, I think I'm... I'll help him because he's been helping me, but... I think I need to wait until... She resets. Yeah, he got there before me. I'll need to wait a second for playwright Parissa to respawn. That's alright. I'm getting confused. Because these two actors have been respawned for like... Oh! <laughs> Here we go. I just had to turn around. So. Hopefully I don't die here. I think I'll be fine, but... Ha! Now just the actress oh. die. Ah. All right, bounty bosses. Oh, she was a bounty boss. Bounty bosses are special monsters that are harder to kill. Each zone has unique bounty bosses. You can find them on the map or under the bounty section of your journal. Once per day, bounty bosses give extra gold and experience. Bounty bosses are more likely to drop higher quality items than normal monsters. Nice. Okay, let's talk to Jordy again. Thank you, Zephyr, raise. Parissa is defeated. No plagiarizing on my watch. Awesome. I got a new bow. Huh. Okay. So... By switching to this bow, I will lose poison shot, but I will gain a whole bunch of other stuff. I also gain Viper Sting. A venomous shot poisons your target, dealing 15 plus 1 nature damage over 10 seconds, and an additional 26 plus 1 nature damage after the effect ends. That's good enough for me. Swap these out. Alright, let's continue. Let's get out of here. Drop. All right, back out to D. What's up, man? Oh, blimey! More people have vanished right before my eyes. Wow, all these people vanished. What the devil is going on around here? More people have vanished. Yes, you were too slow. Well, I found the note. Maybe it will tell us something. All right, hand it here. What does it say? Read it aloud. It says, an apparition appears. Shadowy apparition. Whoa. Let's talk to it. Listen all. Whoa. I bring a message from my master. One who has lived among you for years. Malak, I'm guessing? The time of peace and revelry has come to an end. 
the shadow years are once again upon you. Your precious Clementine has been cursed. She now dwells in a place of darkness, and she will remain there until my master's demands are met. Okay. The criminal known as Tarquin is to be released from Calivern prison. There must also be a relighting of the torches of the lock in the Valley of Oblivion. A signal to the beasts of the world that the Shadow Years have returned. Clementine was only the beginning. No one is safe. Until you comply, the residents of Summer's Hollow will vanish one by one. Uh-oh. My master bids you make haste and leaves you a name to hear and tremble. The Malicious Miscreant. The Malicious Miscreant. Dun dun dun. Oh. Nice weather again. Look at that. What up, D? What the heck was that about? Bad, bad, bad. I'm not ready for this. I took this job because Summer's Hollow is supposed to be peaceful. This is terrible. Who is this malicious miscreant? How would I know? And where is Gallifern Prison? Well, how would I know? I've heard the name Tarquin before, but everyone knows that he's dead. We're doomed. He's dead? What? Why did the apparition say to release him from prison then? You are not inspiring much confidence, Constable. We must tell the mayor what's happened. Jockerel, go see Mayor Gummel near the town hall. Give her my badge. She will know what it means. Will you? Definitely. I know what that means too. It means he's quitting. What a loser. Times get tough, he throws in the badge. That's how it goes. Oh yeah, I gotta speak to Hilda again and give her that autograph. <gasps> Tell me it isn't so. Is beautiful Clementine really gone? It's true. A dark vanishing spell has been placed on Clementine to Clancy. Please tell me you got her autograph first. I did get her autograph. Here it is. Oh, why? Why? Why are the beautiful and famous always doomed to tragedy? Now leave me so I can frame this autograph and weep. Okay, stay safe. That's wonderful, Hilda. Alright, let's go talk to the mayor. Mayor Gummel. It's shameful, that's what it is. My no good son Hugo. <laughs> oh, Hugo's her son. Sobbing away uselessly. Well, thankfully, Constable D is on the job. Uh, not anymore. Constable D told me to give you this badge. Nice. What? Why? That worthless coward. This means Constable D has just resigned. Our town is in peril. We need a brave hero to step up and defeat the malicious miscreant. A hero, you say? Hmm. Yes, a hero. A hero with a brain who can unravel this bizarre mystery and save us all. What do you say, Jack Rule? Are you up to it? I accept. I will endeavor to save Summer's Hollow. Excellent. Now then, I suggest you start by talking to some of the villagers. Where should I start? Try Eugenio. He grew up in Summer's Hollow and is bound to know much about our little town. New quest. What does Eugenio know? Talk with Eugenio in Summer's Hollow. I'll get another bow as a reward. Nice. Alright, let's go do that. Oh, my bow now looks sick. Red and black, my favorite colors. Nice. Um... Oh wow, I got these gloves. Holy moly. They are way better than my current ones. Swap those out. I also want to disguise a vendor. I want to sell everything that I don't need. There we go. Cleared up inventory and got a little money from that. All right, Eugenio. Gotta stay calm, gotta stay calm. The main thing is to not panic. Agreed. 
Take Carwin, for example. You don't see her screaming hysterically or sobbing over vanished villagers. A real pro, that one. Cool as a cucumber. Who is Carwin? Only the most exquisite creature in all the land. She's an aspiring actress and Clementine de Clancy's understudy in the play. Her understudy? And calm during all this? Sounds suspicious. It does indeed. Carwin, the miscreant? No. Though I stutter and twitch whenever I'm around her, so I can't say I know her all that well. I'll get to know her. Carwin is my first lead in the case. I'm hopelessly smitten with her. Maybe after you talk to her, could you give me some tips on how to not fall apart in her presence? She grew up in Dagmar Fields. Try talking to some of her neighbors there. Who should I speak to first? Start with Priam, near the vineyards. She's a raving lunatic, but every now and then she makes sense. Thank you. Alright. So, looks like we are off to Dagmar Strand. Let's get going. So, uh, at this point right now, I'm just traveling. And uh, that's probably pretty boring for you guys to see. So when I am traveling from location to location, especially if it's a really long distance, I will probably cut. So uh, expect that if I have nothing to talk about. Ah, uh, Dagmar Strand. Looks very nice here. Lots of fields. Some houses. Oh yeah, and um, in this game, in order to teleport, you need to unlock travel pads in each location. Most locations have travel pads, but you actually need to walk on top, directly on top of each travel pad before you can use it. So in other games, most of the time you just need to be at a location and then you can automatically um, teleport to that location but in this game you actually need to walk on top of these travel pads for them to activate found a travel pad travel pads allow players to instantly travel to any location that has been previously discovered every time a new travel pad is discovered that location is unlocked and a small experience bonus is granted oh nice I didn't know about the experience um, but yeah, alright, I think it's just up here, I can cut across this field, 